Hi guys, Linda here. Um, I'm working on CW Planner number 21. And one, well, it's the bonus, is tissue paper or napkin. But I love to use napkins for like a background. And I'm cutting this one down. This, one of the other prompts too is something with wings. So usually I tear these. But um, this has got both those things on it. Isn't that pretty? This is from Crafty Irina. So many pretty things from her. Uh, something stapled, something related to coffee. And this is the coffee that I love. It's from here in Wisconsin. And it's the bag. But I, you know, I probably won't use the whole bag. But it might become the pocket. So, what I'm going to do is cut this off here and maybe down these folds so I have a place to glue. Because, see, it's waxed inside. We have a little shop down the street called, well, it was the Blue Spoon, and um, they closed during the pandemic, but this was the coffee they served, and I loved it. So then I found out one of the grocery stores in town carries it. But lately I've been making um, cold brew, Cat Han, hi Cat. If you're watching, she um, was telling me how about it, and I thought, oh, that sounds really good <laughs> and easy. So, well, not you know, it's kind of easy. You make it ahead, and um, I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll start doing that. But <laughs> I made a big batch, and I was going up north to the cabin, and I thought, oh. How am I going to take this to the cabin with me? And um, so the next couple weeks anyway, I'm just making my own brew, because, you know, daily because, um, see, now I still even have this side for another one if I want. I like that one though. Oh, well, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so that's going to go on there. Um, foreign language. I didn't realize it, but every month, or I don't know if it's every month, I get <laughs> something from Medicare and they have all these little different languages. And I thought when I saw it the last time, I thought, oh, I could put these little pieces on one of my collages. See here, Medicare summary, um, Japanese. Isn't that cool? I love these I'm going to just cut out this, um, you know, what it says, Medicare summary or whatever. I love these languages that are symbols. Oh, so beautiful. Something I can't even imagine. You know, I love the collage, so we put all these little pieces on here. Let's see, what else? Okay, a postage stamp. You know I have a lot of those. Postage stamp, something with wings. I got that butterfly on there already. Um, something stapled. Maybe I want to put another butterfly down here. And there's, this is one that has, um, you know, the right side and the up, you know, upside down side. Well, maybe I'll do that. I'll put that off. Okay. All right, so you gotta get the Mod Podge out. And I gotta separate these. See, this is a three ply, so I gotta get down. Put the back on this. All right. And I'm starting a new um, page. My pages, I do have four sections to it because it's from that book that all the pages fold out of. I'm going to have to ink all those. So, 
when you see this, I will be up at my cabin. So I, I probably won't have, you know, very many videos. I'm going to try to do a couple ahead today. And then um, <laughs> I'll post them from up north. But I don't know. I wonder if I should just schedule them. Because up north, when I post them, they take like a couple hours to, whereas if I post it right from here, from home, you know, it's just sometimes by the time I have it, whatever I want it to write, written, it, it's already posted. Like that little border there. It's Saturday here and I found out that my helper friend that's coming to help me at the cabin is coming on Monday and I wasn't expecting until Wednesday, so <laughs> I got to get busy today. All right, so then I want to let that dry. I'll set that aside. And I want to take all these little pieces that I've cut out. There's another one that I want to cut off this Medicare. I like that, like this one says Vietnamese. My brother was sent to Dene well, first he was sent to California when he was in the Marine Corps and taught Vietnamese. And, um, but he said he could do, he could read it, write it, but couldn't speak it. <laughs> I don't even know if he could write it. Here's Arabic, here's Korean, isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see that. So beautiful. Let's see, let's try this wild honey. I seem to be liking this wild honey all of a sudden. I don't know if I said I hope everybody's doing well, finding fun things to play with. This is kind of cool because it kind of matches the background of the napkin. Okay, wait, these water pen brushes work so good for this part. Is there any water? Yeah. So I just take the water and go down the napkin like this, and it just weakens it enough that it can tear off pretty good, pretty easily. Okay, and then I'm going to put these things all over it, so maybe I want to put more Maj Paj on it. Okay, got to kind of get a little bit of a plan here. Something with coffee. Oh, I got I got more things with wings. I have these cool butter or um, bumblebee embellishments that I made a long time ago. They can go on here. Here's a butter, another butterfly that I can ink up. This is my box of stitch stamps. It's so big. I really, I, I use these containers. They are probably two inches deep in my, all my cabinets up north because I put my silverware and everything in them because of the mice. So hopefully I won't have that problem. A lot of these are, these are so old. Maybe I'll just go down the side. Look at these old envelopes that they're in. That's really cool paper. I'm going to have to use that in something, too. Let's see. I can just put these all down the side. Let's, oh, there's a purple one. Get all different colored ones. That would be fun. There's a green one. Oh, here's a William Morris cigar, or um, a cigar band. All right. Oh, I'm liking this page a lot. <laughs> so, I'm not sure I'm using you yet. And then I'm going to put my tag in here. And here comes Sophie. Oh, goodness. Kitty cat. I think we're going to have to not be up here today. So the next thing is going to be to put these strips down and the stamps. I'm just going to put the Maj Paj everywhere. I think I'll do the stamps first. 
feel like I'm really hurrying because I feel like I want to get so much done today. I guess I thought it would be easier to put this Mod Podge on and then go like this, but I'm, instead of gluing, but I'm thinking maybe, maybe I should be gluing. Boy, I don't know if this is side up or upside down. There's a one on there, so I think it goes this way, because there's a one <laughs> for the phone number. Okay, let me see if I ink this up. Well, I don't know if I like even need that. Now this was sewn. It's not. Um, it's not uh, stapled. But what I could do is staple it to the bag, and the bag doesn't need to be. I'm gonna cut this down even more. Probably cut it down too small now. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I have to cut that down. And I want to put that hole back in here. I might want to get it kind of in the middle. There we go. Alright. That can go here. Okay, so I can staple this. One, two, well, let's see. Put that there. Maybe I can staple this onto here and put it down here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to staple this with my tiny attacher. And I don't think I'm going to, um, I'm not going to make this a pocket. So, no, it didn't go through. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this ribbon and staple that there, and then staple it over here where the lace is, because I tried to go through the middle and it didn't go. All right, and maybe staple him there so i have staples on there something stapled and this is going to be the pocket all right so this needs to be inked even though it's very pretty the way it is but to go with the page i think it needs to be inked i'm using vintage photo now let's see how that looks I should have inked it before. And this is seam binding that I stamped on. These are little B things that I made a while ago. I just wanted to have, um, you know, this on here because that's the name of the coffee. All right, glue. This one's going to get completely glued. And then the other one's going to be the pocket. So I'm just gluing, gluing. And because it's my favorite coffee, I don't have to worry about using it because I keep buying it, right? <laughs> oh, the things we save. And try that wild honey on this. I think what I'm going to do too is just staple this bottom so there's more staples there we go now maybe a little vintage photo on top of that i kind of like these two inks together too and that's going to go there i use one of these old <clears throat> index cards so here's Blueberry tort. Oh, yummy. Apple strudel. Hmm. And then one that hasn't been used. And these are perforated. So cool. I don't know what I pay. Oh, 25 cents. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, so this is going to go in here with the 
tag on it, so I'm going to have to cut that off about there. Get my cutter out. Look at that. I don't even need to ink the edges. They're already inked. <laughs> They're already aged. Nice little scrap left. Directions on this side. I can ink this one so that it matches the index card. So if I'm, you know, not online, <laughs> I, you know, if you worry about me, I'm not sure you even do, but if you did, so I can put this little piece that I cut out of here, these little pieces from the notches that I made, I can put those up here for the pull. Oh, I can staple them. I'm going to glue them and staple them. Staple in that. Maybe I'll make it like an X. There we go. And that's going to slide in here. So I want to glue this down. Hopefully it'll fit inside there. And this is going to go in here. Then I just need to put the number on here. And oops. I want to get it in between those. There we go. And then I need to put the number on here. Do I? Oh. Ooh, this isn't sticking. That's not the right glue. And the number. I kind of need to put the number right there. So I need little numbers. Um, so this says there's the numbers from 1 to 31. So 20. One should be in here, right? There's 21. I think that's what's going to go in there. Okay, we're going to put this in here, hopefully. Um, right there, I use my Friday Therese <laughs> pokey tool. I, I have used this so much, Friday. It's amazing. I love it. And if you haven't seen Friday's T Friday's channel, she's really, she's got a lot of good stuff going on over there. And I know now it's getting to be summer, so <laughs> people aren't going to want to do too much. I really feel like I want something on here. Oh, I know. This little bag of stickers still from Tyrio. Let's see if there's something in here. It's got button. Oh, this is pretty. I'll put that on there. God, I love these vellum stickers. They are, oh, this one's really pretty too with the little flower. It's kind of more the right color. I should have put it on first. Oh, and it's got a butterfly. I've got to use that one. Look at this sweet little envelope. Oh, so many cute things. I keep telling myself I don't need anything and then I end up buying things and then I end up seeing more things that I that people use and it's like oh I want that too it's terrible but I guess it's better than what some things could be Ooh. all right so we're gonna maybe maybe I should start down no if I have to cut off anything, I want to cut off the bottom. Gosh, I actually got it straight. There, I can even maybe fold it over. There we go. It's, it's almost like washi tape. It's just, well, although it sticks much better. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. Okay. I know it was antique by natural causes, but you can always use a little bit more, right? This way I can, you know, I keep putting the prompt on the other side and it's like, okay, this way I can guess. Okay, what things were, what well, things was I supposed to put on here? Put that in there. Now I just have to decide, do I want to use this butterfly that I pulled out? I would have to um, seriously do some inking, which I can do. I'm going to ink it and then see if I want to use it. 
So first I'm gonna start with vintage photo. Ooh, I know I could, what else I have? I have these watercolor brushes. Um, I might use a little bit of those. Let's see. They are kind of messy, but let's see. That one has it all around the edges. This is, uh, um, I think, a Tim Holtz die that comes with the die and the um, embossing folder. And I, you know, I must have cut out a few of them when I first got the die <laughs> and then haven't done anything with them. Okay, so I'll do that. And then I'll do this. Oh, video is getting long. Okay. Let's squeeze it a little bit. There's a little place here where you squeeze it. This I've had for a long time, so I don't even know where it's from. I can use the brown. Oh, I know. I just need to add a little bit of water, maybe. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> Not that much water. Oops. There we go. I think the brush was just dry. Now what other colors are in there? There's like a yellow. I'm kind of um, looking at this butterfly to to paint it with to kind of get a similar look. I meant to put the water on my board here. This um, board is just a Oh, UPS box that I covered with this like contact paper kind of stuff that I saw on Cat Hand's um, Amazon store. I was so surprised when I got it. It it's so cool. It's really thin and it's like a contact paper, and you get a ton of it. And I thought, oh, I'm never going to use this, but you know, I get it all icky, and then I can just. I can wipe it off, but I have more that I can make more. Okay, so I've got some red in there. And I think maybe more yellow. And oh, it's got like a blue and a green in there. There, that's better. I wanna go around these edges again because I didn't have enough water in there. That's better. That looks a little bit more like them. Oh, I see. On the, this butterfly, the black, they have a little bit of brown going through it. That's, I don't think that's going to work. We'll see if it dries. I want to put that, put that here. I think. There you go. Something seems unfinished about it. I don't know. I feel like I need a black edge. I guess maybe I'm so used to stamping and having that stamped edge that I think everything has to have a little bit of an edge. I can make this a little blacker, go around those brown spots. Well, this butterfly really looks different, doesn't it, than it started. So you can take any, um, any of your scrapbook paper and make it into something completely different with a little watercolor and and that's fun all right so now to glue you down you're kind of wet but that's all right okay so this is cw planner number 21 the year is just clicking a by isn't it and let's make sure we have everything. We have text from foreign language in a foreign language. We have something staple, lots of staples, coffee related, postage stamps, something with the wings, and a napkin. So there you have it. My CW planner number 21. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day and finding something fun that you love to do. Bye.